1,400 at the moment. 1,400. It may just be able to squeeze in a flat show, but uh, let's see how this one develops. First of four typhoons today. Uh, very interesting to contrast this one, which is in a clean wing generation. To the later British Aerospace uh, BA Systems aircraft, which is uh, uh, representative of a phase three enhancement aircraft with a full weapons load. Polish F-16 we saw earlier came from a member squadron of the NATO Tiger Association, the international NATO body that includes squadrons with tigers or other big cats as their emblems, and so does this aircraft. from 142 Esquadron, 16 in Spanish Air Force service, that denoting the fact that it's the 16th frontline fighter type to have entered service with the air arm in its modern form. Spanish Eurofighter showing the full range of speed, everything from uh, a high speed pass approaching 600 knots down to around about 95 knots in the slow speed pass later on, and uh, very, very tight, plus nine to minus three G turns. Spain, one of the initial four partner nations in the Eurofighter production program, the others being the UK, Germany, and Italy. An aircraft from all four can be seen either in the static or flying displays or both at React 2016. The display pilot this weekend is Captain Dia Matas. And he has 1,600 of his total 1,700 flying hours on the Typhoon. distinctive delta canard shape that you see there. Uh, very aerodynamically efficient and uh, very, very low in drag. The aircraft capable of super cruising, which is flying supersonic without reheat. And of course, when ag aggressively maneuvering, all of the working surfaces on the aircraft are producing lift. None of them are producing downforce. Typhoon 
Marines in the Spanish Air Force is Ala 11, based at Moron. This is one of two frontline jet fighter types in service with that air arm, the other being the McDonnell Douglas EF-18 Hornet. The Dassault Mirage F-1 having, quite a few years ago, been retired from Spanish service. Once again, the Spanish Typhoon at the slow.